Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to if my favorite pop idol made it to Budokan I Would Die episode 8. And I'm gonna start this reaction in 1, 0, go. And just a heads up y'all, I'm reacting to this episode off of the Funimation website. In case y'all wondering where I'm watching it from. Alright. I always like that Anime Reiko logo. <laughs> Probably something different because they're going to use the same gag twice. I mean, it's just blue. Maybe she likes the color blue. Okay, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Dang! <laughs> but then, she, wouldn't she happy about the, be happy about the pictures, though? Know? Because it's mania, and she can see her constantly in pictures. Mm. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty smart. Hopefully it works out well for our man and Matoli. Hopefully. I mean, yeah, if everyone else is going to think of it, then... I mean, if Matoli thought of that instantly, then everyone else is going to think of it instantly, too. You know? It's like when you try to get ahead, and then everyone else tries the same shit, making it completely in ineffective. Ah, uh, poor Matoy. <laughs> I mean, hey, at the very least, he seems to have a decent career going on, so... And in all that in his life. So... Hooray? Oh, man, I... You know, this song's really grew, grew on me. I went from liking it the first time I saw it, saw it to not really, really loving it. And loving all of its little details. <laughs> oh, man. I just wonder what would happen if Nene gets a boyfriend. Would Apiti will become all like Yandere like? Ah, I doubt it. Even though Apiti was a bit extreme, she a good girl. I don't think she'd do anything crazy at all. <laughs> all right. I want you in my future. Hmm. Could there be a potential confession or proposal? Mmm, that does sound pretty attractive. Cause gotcha odds, gotcha odds are bullshit! Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. 
Oh. You know what? I like this. Too. It's realistic that some of the others wouldn't like each other. And I like how at the same time it shows you certain his professionalism, too. I think it's really, really cute. And a really good characterization sequence for it, too. <laughs> Go along, Aya. Go along. Yes. I would love to see him have dinner. <laughs> Dang, she's pretty spontaneous. Yeah. <laughs> Like a Shiba Inu. I like how they did it at the same time. That's when you know they've been hanging out for quite a while. You know what she should be doing is... You know what Peter should be doing is spending time with family. On occasions. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you never know. Mm. Yo, that sounds great. I would actually. Yes! Oh, that, that is adorable. Or right, I'm going to use it as a thumbnail. It's too, 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 too much kawaii. But maybe a pity will get lucky, though. I have faith in her. Girl. <laughs> Dang, she's just getting that full that foot pretty well after recovering from the injury. Alright. She's gotta be careful though not to not to break it again. I'm pretty sure guys will be some motos that are gonna work hard no matter what to support their their girl. Whoa! Dang! <laughs> no, seriously, with that jump, she could definitely be an Olympic runner, and she would be able to provide much more easily for his habit of supporting the PDO. Honestly. I'm gonna go pretty has so much potential athletically. Huh? <laughs> okay now that is good persuasive emotional appeal marketing tactic. Yes! Can't wait to see what type of crazy shit Pity is gonna do this time. Or for all we know, I keep a subvert our expectations, she might actually do something relatively normal.
I mean, that just happens in life. Sometimes you try your best in something and someone else just overtakes you with less experience. It's just the way of life. I mean, shit. Happens to most of us. I can, I can relate to that, too. The only... Th yeah, it's an SML why I should be jealous, but the thing is, though, in life, you can't spend too much thought time on thoughts like jealousy. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> That is so, so wholesome. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh man! At least Serena admits uh, I just got the charm. That sounds like since they speak for yes, we can become friends and that smile. But that smile, you know, Serena. Serena's bait was successful in luring it out of you. I don't think it sounds creepy. She could have just said, I, I'm just curious to see how you'd look in a Santa outfit. It'd look pretty cool. For like a block post or something. A video couldn't introduce the subject naturally, but I could see why she couldn't think of that. It's just the heat of the moment. <laughs> hmm. I think she's gonna put on the sound app, but now. Mania. Knowing what we've seen from her from other episodes, she's gonna do it. Because she always tries to show, even like, at least in her own way, she always tries to sh find a way to show appreciation for her fans. That's why I think she'll go for the sound outfit. I mean, I'm, I mean, I have a feeling this is going to happen. But seeing her grab it. Ah! Yes. Yes. I like how she said Aiden Pearl, too. But we all know who she immediately thought of when she says fans. Our girl, look pretty how she's moving up in the world. And who knows, maybe that actually increase Mania's popularity too. Yo, that'd be so cool. You know, Pretty would look pretty... Pretty nice in a semi-outfit. I actually would really like to see that. Nah, it will still happen. Because... <clears throat> Your mental image, majority of times, isn't ever going to stack up to the real deal. It just ain't. Mm -mm. <clears throat> she's going to try, but she's going to fail. Fail epically. Okay, I don't know if it's necessarily going out with them, but okay, that's an interesting and optimistic perspective. Hopefully it doesn't mean bad news, because whenever I see Stormfront, then I mean it's usually bad news. Unless the character's like a water user, or some shit like that, and like a battle anime, then it could be good news, but usually it's bad news.
Damn, I'm pretty looking my Super Mario right now. The only thing that would make this episode even more perfect than it already is is just having like the Mario sounds like the doo doo, <laughs> or the Sonic sound effect too. Now let us see our girl Mania. Show us the people's champion. Dang it. Come on, animators. Show it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you actually said it all out loud. Yo, even nature responded in kind. Mmm, <laughs> mm, the is really, really calm. Probably because she took a lot of part-time jobs, so. So she can feel out in darkness. Why? Whoa! <laughs> that's that's pretty nifty there. Oh. All right, now this is a nice moment. <clears throat> Seeing the our idol girls go in the moment of adversity with the lights shut off, and it's nice to actually see the nice collab between them and the f between them and the fans. This is pretty dang cool. Hmm. All right, I like that encouragement they're giving Taya. She really needs it after the last few things that have happened to her. Aww. <laughs> Aww, she's smiling. She should definitely burn that memory into her mind forever. It isn't a feel up here to you. You're actually doing it. You're doing it. You should definitely gain that more of that confidence. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Her pain number is is improving dramatically too. It's improved, been improving each and every episode, but I like it. It's like a Slow rise. They actually do. Hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Aww. Now that right there was a nice, not like an extremely pleasant and positive interaction there. Oh. Oh, she's actually aging closer! <laughs> yes! Don't have a heart attack, Pedio. Just stick it with it for like a minute. If you'll survive. Yes, if you survive, this will make you a stronger person. Yo. Oh. Oh. 
Yes, pretty took home. More wins today. And for me, that makes me a happy camper. Hmm. <laughs> I like how she actually even brought attention to Mania too, to help, to help give her a, to help push her in some more attention. I like that. How it feels like a sister when they all try to like raise each other up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't they should they should not tell her anything. Just as long as the pretty is happy, that's what matters the most. You and her face is invisible. The memories will be in her mind forever. That's what really counts the most. Not the picture. The, pic the picture is just like a tangible object. What really matters is what your mind and heart feels about the event that just passed. That's truly the most important thing. Hmm. All right, it's really beautiful. The snow. Oh. It's really sweet, and I like the snow details how they're even sticking into the ha roof of the house too. Alright. Dang, this episode was 10 out of 10 worthy. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. And let me explain why. We had character development for Mania because she's openly showing the positive feelings she has for Epidio. For example, she actually went out and bought a Santa outfit just because Epidio mentioned it, because you gotta remember, the Epidio from the start of the series would have been too shy to do something like that. Too shy to show off her, the feelings of positivity she has for Epidio in the first few episodes. In this episode, she literally does it. She takes uh, the initiative to show her she has positive feelings for Epidio. Then additionally, in the first few episodes too, Whenever they would take pictures, we always got to remember Epidio was too scared to to stay close. And I like that how, again, in this episode, it shows you Mania take the initiative in taking a picture where she's closer with Epidio. Like, all these moments are great. It shows you character growth for Mania, showing you how much she appreciates her fan, showing you how much she appreciates the things she has in life. So I thought it was a glorious episode. And let me just first see the PV before I talk about more details about it. <laughs> Whoa, it's so... <laughs> okay, she doesn't look injured, so it's all good. <laughs> Dang, that's some flexibility. <laughs> I wouldn't even try the movement she's trying with her with the back like that. Woo! Now, aside from that, though... What I also enjoy about this episode was the character development you had for Epidio because you saw her competency when it came to situations that were adverse to her. Like, for example, when the lights went out, I liked how you saw Epidio's calmness right there. Because you gotta remember, in the first of the episodes, Epidio 
It wasn't exactly calm. Here, you see a calmness to her you never saw from her before. So I like that. And additionally, she's much more in control of her emotions because she at least she didn't nosebleed when she saw Mania's outfit. So I gotta say, she's trained her body up. So I do love stuff like that. And on top of that, it's nice to see Pedio also um, appreciate the, the finer things in life. Like even though her face was obscured by the light, she still enjoyed it because she saw the fact that Mania came closer than usual in that moment. So that's what I really liked about this episode. It had character growth to spare for Pedio. And then on top of that, what I also liked about this episode specifically was the whole Aya and Sunane thing there. Minor, minor conflict where they introduced it and then they sort of went together. They sort of bonded a bit more in the mid portion of the episode. So I like how the writing staff, they're not forgetting about the other characters too. So that's how I thought this episode was balanced out. Animation and art, what can I say? Beautiful. This is one of the few comedy animes where each and every episode, the animators, they bring it. They pour their hearts and souls into the screen to make sure everything looks beautiful. And the artwork is beautiful as always. And the voice performance is amazing. And that's why I thought this episode was 10. It's unworthy. It's, this sets the bar for comedy animes. This is the gold standard here. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts and how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the